Now, let's answer questions from random posts that ito ay post ni Sir Av Real dito sa Civil Service Exam Community. FB group ito, isang FB group na lagi kong tinatambayan. Dalawang questions ito at ito ang sagutan natin sa video ito. Bago ang lahat, ilalagay ko sa description ng video ito yung iba pang na-upload natin na kahalintulad nitong dalawang questions na ito. Kasi marami na tayong na-upload na halos kahalintulad talaga nito. Pasahin natin ang problem. The ratio of two numbers is 5 is to 8. If the smaller number is 25, what is the larger number? Ito yung ratio ng dalawang number. Kung ito, obviously yung 5 yan yung maliit. The smaller number is 25. Ang tanong kung ilan yung larger number. 25 divided by 5, para makuha mo kung ilan ba ang i-multiply natin dito sa ratio, i-divide natin itong 25. 25 divided by 5 and that is 5. Therefore, mag-multiply ka ng 5 dito sa 5 na yan and the answer here is 25. So, kung ganun ang ginawa mo, ganun din ang gagawin mo dito. 8 times 5, and that is 40. So, yan na yung sagot. Para mas klaro, ibang solusyon naman, para makita nyo lang. 5 is to 8, equals 25 is to, yan yung hinahanap natin. I-multiply natin yan siya. 8 times 25, that is 200, equals 5, so let x be yung larger number. So, 5x. I-keep natin si x dyan. I-isolate natin si x. Si 5, since pang multiply sa x, pang divide ngayon siya sa 200. 200 divided by 5, and that is 40. So, yan na yung sagot. So, let this be our solution number 1. At ito naman ang solution number 2. Let's do solution number 3. Pariho lang to lahat. Pero ito yung pinaka mabilis. 25 divided by 5. I-divide mo dito. 25 divided by 5. And that is 5. Times 8. And the answer here is 40. Ganun lang. Bali, 25 divided by 5 times 8 equals 40. So, yan na yung sagot. Teka lang ha, isingit lang natin to. Baka merong sisingit kung bakit 40. Kung 25 divided by 5 times 8 equals 40. Ang division at multiplication, they rank equally. Kaya we will solve them from left to right. Yan yung order of operations or yung kilalang MDAS. Okay? Isingit lang natin to. Baka may makapansin ba? na bakit inuna yung division, eh nauna naman talaga si division, yan yung nasa order of operation or kilalang MDAS. Anyway, proceed na tayo sa pangalawang tanong. What number if divided by 4, 5, 10, the remainder is 3? First, kuha na natin ito ng least common multiple. Meron na tayong na-up flow dati kung paano hanapin si least common multiple. Kaya lalagay ko sa description ng video ito yung link doon para mapanood nyo rin yun. So, least common multiple. Yung kapag maghanap tayo ng least common multiple, doon ka titingin sa pinakamalaking number. 4, 5, 10. Ang 10 ang pinakamalaking number. Ngayon si 10, ma-divide sa 5 of course. Pero ma-divide ba siya sa 4? Hindi. So, multiple of 10, ang next dyan ay 20. Ang 20 now ay pwedeng ma-divide sa 5 at pwedeng ma-divide sa 4. So, itong 20 na yan, yan yung least common multiple ni 4, 5, 10. 20. Remainder plus 3. And that is 23. What number if divided by 4, 5, 10? The remainder is 3. The answer here is 23. Gusto nyong isa-isahin? 23 divided by 4, and that is 
5. 5 times 4 equals 20. 23 minus 20, and that is 3. Remainder, 3. Next, 23 divided by 5, and this is 4. 4 times 5 equals 20. 23 minus 20, and that is 3. Remainder, 3. Now, 23 divided by 10, that is 2. 2 times 10 equals 20. 23 minus 20, and that is 3. Remainder, 3. Therefore, ang tamang sagot dito ay 23. Thank you for watching at abangan ang mga future na videos natin, yung pangbahay style na pagtuturo lang. Thank you.